Buffalo. Some of you have been complaining about the price of nine millimeter lately. I assure you this is still cheap at 50 cents around compared to what we normally do for this show. However, uh, I've noticed a lot of people are a little stressed out. I can't imagine why. And I thought it'd be good to share maybe a more positive experience and a less serious experience. We are known for being, you know, a very professional show. And I assure you that we are not experts. We are determined idiots. And to prove that point, a lot of you who have followed us on Patreon and Subscribestar already know what this is. This is the product of a grown man who uh, spent his childhood with Transformers. It is an irresistible device because it is both firearm and apparently a product of Bondi. Let me, uh, actually, I guess it would be Takara, wouldn't it? Yeah. So uh, this is my kel Sub 2000, obviously. These are everywhere. People know them very well. But I've decided, uh, especially to irritate a friend of mine that made fun of me for wanting one, I've decided to make it as good as possible, and I've used every aftermarket bit and boodle that I could lay hands on, and essentially overloaded the gun to the point that it's so bad it's good. Now, uh, I'm only sharing it with you guys because, again, you gotta have a little fun shooting sometimes, and I think maybe we've been a little too serious. So, my Sub-2000 is equipped with a whole trigger job, aluminum takedown, uh, uh, I guess this is the trigger guard and the takedown lever. Uh, all that stuff is M Carbo. Uh, my dual finger grasp is M Carbo. I've actually cut a safety notch into there because I didn't like the slap off. I went submachine gun style so I could actually lock it open. Uh, that was just my own thing with some cold blue and a Dremel. But uh, most of this back here, M Carbo. Uh, rear sight, I believe, is M Carbo as well. However, when we get to the front of the gun, I've gone over to somebody called Red Lion Precision. Now they've provided us with, well provided I bought this thing, this is a four point indexing rotating fore end, and then I also have a flip up front sight. Uh, this is also Red Lion. Now in order to work this thing, you loosen your collar, you roll her over, pull her two, and then tighten your collar back down. In this case, I'm gonna set her over for good old iron sight use. And then I'm gonna try out ruining those poorly fitted uh, dueling plates. All right, first thing we'll load it up. I currently have this set up for Smith & Wesson mags. The reason for that being is that I'm doing some experimentation to see if I can get it to do uh, Steyr magazines because I also own some Steyr pistols. Now, two-handed charge. I can lock open if I need to, like I said, but we're just gonna go ahead and let her in there. All right, let's see if I have this adjusted remotely correctly. Take aim at that dueling tree down there and just see where I'm at. Oh, safety. Oh, there's one more up there. Okay, I'd count that as a win for the irons. Now, of course, Every sub 2000 could do that. Although I will say, by the way, and I've, I've bought all this myself. They don't even know I'm doing this, but I do want to say uh, this M Carbo rear sight is a really good upgrade if you're going to do nothing else for those sub 2000s. Now, that's all well and good to shoot, what is that, 30, 35 feet out? Uh, I can do that with a handgun, obviously. The way to really shoot something like this, being uh, a nine millimeter uh, PCC, is to go ahead and stretch it out to I'd say 100 yards, but unfortunately the marsh has reclaimed part of the back of the range, so I think we're more at about 90 if I'm reading it correctly. But I've put a little black steel silhouette out there, and I'm kind of blind as a bat, so I'm going to take every bonus I can get. So let's do a little switch over here. I'm going to loosen this up, rotate her over, and then I'm going to fold down my rear and front sights, and I'm going to go ahead and ditch this cap. Now what I have on here is an inexpensive BSA Edge the 2X uh, pistol scope because uh, the way the Sub-2000 is set up, you're pretty far behind the first place you could really set any sort of optic. And so it became easier to push it further away and get a pistol scope than it was to actually get anything to come back and still be able to fold the gun. So let's try this guy out at the 100 yard mark. Now I'll try my best to get you some footage of this later, but Looks like I need to adjust this just a little bit, but it has held zero from the last time I shot it, which means Red Lion might have actually figured it out. 
All right, guys, that's really all I wanted to show you. It's super goofy, it's super fun, and I just wanted you to know, yes, I screw around with the new stuff as well, although I'm an addict for the best worst ideas. Uh, I think the adage is, kel is the most innovative firearms manufacturer in the world today. I didn't say best, I said most innovative. All right, have a good one.